Hello and welcome to our discussion on financial accounting and in this session we will focus our attention on the impact of the stock split on the financial statement. So first let us understand what is stock split and then we'll see the effect on the financial statement with an example. Stock split is actually the process of increasing the number of shares increasing the number of shares by changing or by reducing the face value per share. It changes only the denomination of the shares. That means no increase or decrease in the capital but only the, no the face value is reduced from 10 to 2 or 2 to 1. So the change is only in the denomination of the shares. As a result of the stock split the capital will not change. The number of shares will change and no change in the net worth but since the number of the shares increase the book value per share reduces. So let us understand the effect of the stock split by taking a simple example. So this is the base case where we have the capital 10, 10,000, face value is 10, reserves 50,000, long term debt 25,000, current liabilities 25 and the corresponding assets. At present the number of shares is 10,000 divided by 10,000 divided by 10 so 1,000. The net worth of the company is 10,000 plus 50,000 and book value per share is net worth divided by number of share is a book value. Book value is also called the asset backup per share. Asset backup per share. But suppose the company goes for a stock split and stock split is suppose 2 for 1. That means every share is divided into two share. On other word, now the new face value is 5. So the new face value becomes 5. Instead of 10, it becomes 5. So the capital remains same, the reserves remain same, the long term debt remains same, the current liability remains same, so is the case with the cash and fixed assets because no, for the, no other transactions. So the number of shares now, number of shares post split will be 10,000 divided by 5, so 2,000. So the number of shares have gone up. The number of shares is from 1,000 to 2,000. The net worth of the company, no change in the net worth, 10,000 plus 50,000. But the book value per share, book value per share will change because the number of shares have changed. So the book value per share was 60. Book value per share was 60. Now the book value per share is 30. The book value has reduced because the net worth remaining constant the price, the, the, the number of shares gone up. So the stock split, what will happen, what is the effect of the stock split on the balance sheet? No change in the capital, in the capital, no change in the net worth, the number of shares go up, number of shares go up, so the book value per share book value per share falls so there is a possibility possibility the the price will reduce to keep the to keep the market cap market cap more or less constant but price may not exactly fall proportionately so the stock splits effect is no effect directly on the balance sheet but the derived effect is the book value per share falls so price will also fall. Thank